if you're tired of setting goals and never achieving them and you want to make this year the year that you actually hit your targets and you are in the right place because not only am i going to be breaking down a way to achieve your goals in this new year but i'm also going to be breaking down specifically a way that is heavily neglected by a lot of the people and one of the biggest reasons why most people do not hit their goals for years i kept thinking the same thing this year is going to be different but i kept falling into the same pattern of feeling disappointed in myself by the time it got to the end of the year because i hadn't made enough progress towards those goals in fact it was even to the point where i didn't even want to celebrate any birthdays or new years or nothing because i had always felt like what am i celebrating i haven't achieved anything worthy of celebrating last year was the year everything changed for me and looking back i'm grateful at how far i've come from where i was in around about mid 2021 or early 2021 to where i am now and also where i am going so what changed i shifted my attention away from my goals and this may sound counterintuitive but let me explain i diverged from the common recommendation of getting obsessed with your goals and just reading them every single day etc now i did still set goals in fact i set my goals towards the end of 2021 probably around october or something like that actually didn't wait for the new year but after i set them instead of constantly reminding myself them and going back to them and just reading them every day and that being my only focus what i did is i focused on becoming the person that i needed to be in order to achieve those goals so many of us have it mixed up thinking that just because we know our goals so well because we've been reading them every day saying them every day that that is enough but in reality in order to achieve said goal 99 percent of the time you need to become a different person than the person you are today otherwise you probably would have already achieved that goal one of the past five times that you set it so this year after setting your goals here's what i want you to do take some time and reflect and reverse engineer that goal not just from a perspective of, oh, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. Focus on who do I need to become? There's probably other people who have hit those goals that you wanna hit. Study these people and reflect, hmm, what characteristics, not what did they do, not what steps did they take? Of course, that is an important part that maybe we can speak about another time, but for today's video, focus on what kind of person are they? Are they consistent? Are they persistent? Are they working out all the time? You want to lose weight by the end of the year. Don't focus on, oh, I need to go on this diet. I need to go on that diet or blah, 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 blah. Focus on, hmm, what kind of person do I need to become? I need to become the person that consistently takes care of my health. I need to become the person that consistently shows up to exercise, right? Oh, I want to have success in some kind of business this year. Okay, what kind of person do you need to come? It's not, okay, I need to make X amount of cold calls. I need to send X amount of emails, etc. In fact, instead it's, okay, I need to become the person who doesn't give up in the face of adversity i need to become the person who's willing to go ahead and fail forwards that's one thing i've reflected on even within myself over the past few days where i've realized that i've been holding myself back in certain aspects of business by being hesitant to move towards this idea of quote-unquote failure but when you look at the most successful people what they do is they're not scared of failure they're not scared to try things they're not scared to go and do something and for it to okay maybe it didn't really go as well at first but then to go ahead and learn from that process and then reiterate 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 until it gets to a point where now they are having success doing that exact thing that they started failing at the beginning. So ask yourself, what kind of habits do I need to form? What kind of bad habits do I need to remove? Now, is this going to guarantee that you're going to hit these goals by the end of the year? No. However, is it going to make it more likely that you will? Yes, but more importantly, it makes it more likely that you will hit those goals ultimately. Maybe you hit a few months after the end of the year, maybe a few days after the end of the year. That's not so important. And in fact, the actual process of setting goals and how to set solid goals, maybe we can speak about that another day too. But here's the thing, even if you don't hit those goals, you are going to be a lot closer to those goals because you focused on becoming the person that you need to be in order to hit them. Because one person could hit those goals that you want to hit without becoming the person that you need. For example, they want to lose weight, they try some quick fad diet, they lose the weight, but they haven't become that person that has fell in love with the process of working out. You look at the people that are most consistent in the exercise, athletes, or just people that are in shape. Most of these people are not obsessed over some fad diet. They're obsessed over looking after themselves. And that's the kind of person that you need to become. That's a trait. That's not just an action step. That is a trait. That is a personality trait. That is something that you have within yourself. The person that hits their goals without becoming the person they need to be is more than likely going to lose that goal the next year. So now the following year, they need to go ahead and set that same exact goal that they set two years ago again, because they haven't realized what the real issue actually is. And that's what I want to help you realize. Realize that the real issue isn't that you don't know how to get to your goals. That can be one of the issues, but the main and most important driving factor for the most part is that you aren't focused on becoming that person that you need to be. Because once you're able to become the person that does hit those goals, it's only a matter of time before it happens. So focus on building these solid foundations. It's just like the bricks of a house. You can go ahead and build a house not really knowing what you're doing too much and 
yeah, you might build it, but it's probably going to drop. Or you can focus on building the most solid foundation, which is in this example, yourself becoming the right person, using the right bricks to build your success upon. Now, on your journey to achieve these goals, it's likely that you will come across obstacles. It's important to be prepared for these so that they don't hold you back from becoming who you want to be. Now, the key to overcoming these obstacles is to be prepared before they even come up. Now, I know that's easier said than done, so I made a video specifically breaking down how you can overcome these obstacles in your life, and you can go ahead and watch it right here. Besides that, go ahead and have an amazing day. Reflect on these points. Ask yourself, who do I need to become this year? And the beauty of it is that you can become that person today.